Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Mist of Pandaria Remix and our Death Knight leveling campaign. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and spending some time here with me today. I do appreciate it, and I hope everybody is doing well. We are going to be doing some stuff with Shen, Stormstout, and Lili today. All right, first off, we're gonna slay eight Snagtooth Spotters, Tool Grabbers, or Troublemakers. And then 18 Snagtooth Pesterlings. Right here in the fields nearby. Uh, is there another quest in here? No. Is there another quest out back? Yes. Uh, and for Muno here, we're going to unearth seven pieces of farm equipment. So apparently he is a farmhand.
I am not sure what to think about the music here. <laughs> uh, we have lots of stuff here. These are all breadcrumbs to go help different people in different places in the zone. So we will be seeing all of them eventually, I think. Let's have a look at our talent points. Um, I think increasing crit strike chance would be good. Let's take that one. We're going to recover five stolen turnips and five watermelon. And we're also going to move six plump marmots off of Thunderfoot Farm and fill in their holes. Um, what's stopping us here? Let's give these guys the boot. Not really sure what we're doing here. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if we want to go down into the hole or if we're staying outside of the hole, but if I stand here, I feel like I'm going to keep getting into combat, so let's come down this way and see if any of these objectives make more sense. Uh, okay, we got watermelon hanging out here. Still a lot of enemies to deal with, though. Uh, all I can think is that maybe the stolen turnips are down inside the hole somewhere. And yeah, we didn't see any on the surface. So I guess uh, we're going in. Yeah, here we go. Just 
just a ton of enemies. I'm not sure what it is about these enemies that makes them really annoying. It could be the fact that they run away. Yeah, like at like 20% health, a lot of them take off and run for the hills. And they're actually pretty fast. Ah, uh, bring the crate of fresh crops to Pang Thunderfoot. Uh, the meat they'll eat obtain four Mushan shoulder steaks and 80 turtle meat scraps. And find Jane, Ling, and Smelly. I love how my ghoul ruins like 90% of all thumbnail shot opportunities. Good job, ghoul. Good job.
right, back into the talent tree we go. Uh, Ebon Fever, Virulent Plague deals 15% more damage over time in half the duration. Seems good. Or Bursting Sores, Bursting a Festering Wound deals 20% more damage and deals 85 shadow damage to all nearby enemies. I think we take the AoE. Uh, we have to kill five thieving plane hawks and six thieving wolves. And then we're going after Lupello. We also have a lot of, uh, of chests to open. And a lot of uh, gear to get rid of. So maybe we ought to do that. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see if any of this stuff is an upgrade. That looks cool, but it's not necessarily an upgrade. Uh, the boots are an upgrade. The gloves are an upgrade. Ah, uh, what else did we have in our tinker slots? I don't know. Let's do that one. The belt is an upgrade. And I think that is just about all we can do. Let's go ahead and we'll trash some of the gear. Alright, now the inventory is in a little bit better shape. I still haven't really figured this guy out.
Uh, we're trying to lasso the Great White Plains Hawk. Which apparently this, is this guy right here. All right, we're escorting Shen and Lili to their next location. Let's go find something to drink. Hmm? Shall we, Lili? If beer gets you off your butt, then sure. Let's go find you some beer. Farewell, Shang. You kids have fun at Mud Mugs, and thanks again. I don't know why she's facing that way. We Dude's up here. To him. Huh. Only because we're traveling with this outsider. Sorry, but you do kind of stand out. Hey, yo, stranger. We are looking for a boor named Mudbug. Do you know of him? I'm Mudbug. Who's asking? This is my niece, Lee. Hmm. Y'all any good in fighting vermin? Heck yeah, we are. I've probably beaten up about, oh, a million vermin back on the Wandering Isle. You have a vermin problem? Aye. We will be glad to help you, Mudmug. All right, then. My place is just around the corner. Come on. Let's get to that critter wampin'.
you some stories. Uh, apparently we are stuck in combat with something. It looks like our pet was fighting somebody. Kind of hoping there are more wildlife up this way. We also have some named guys we have to take care of. Normally I wouldn't go after the weaker wildlife, but we don't seem to have a lot of options as far as like where we're getting the blood. I would expect a lot more wildlife, and we just aren't seeing any. Uh, we got a couple of wolves here and there. That seems to be our only aggressive mob option.
What you doing? Okay, see you around. Take me with you. You seem a little parched. May your journey be long. See ya. Okay, for talent choices, let's have a look. I'm kind of worried about neglecting this entire side of the tree. Yeah, see, we want to get down into strength. Damage taken from area of effect reduced. Your diseases have a chance to weaken your enemy, causing your attacks against them to deal 6% increased damage for 5 seconds is really good. Um... Yeah, I just, I don't really like any of the talents that lead into it. But I do have to get here, I think. I'm gonna take Enfeeble. Because it's passive. And that'll get us into Brittle, which will get us into Might of Thessarian. Uh, so we're throwing the orange at uh, the orange painted turnip at the vermin. We're trying to trick them. Unfortunately, we have some competition out here. And apparently, sometimes they simply don't fall for it. We've got one out of 12. And this person probably has the right idea. This guy has a lot of HP. On the stream the other day, some of you guys were telling me that at max level right now, the scaling is broken and that you guys are getting one shot by enemies. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to make it to, at, to max level fast enough to see that happen because I'm sure they'll fix it by then, but that sounds really incredible. And yeah, I had wondered the other day if enemies were scaling up with our power level, and yes, it seems like they are. That's all the stolen grain we need. Now we need to figure out how to trick more of these guys into going after the orange painted turnips. So far we've had, like, zero luck. Like, firstly, in order to trick them, I'd have to find a bunch of them, and we're just like, the first problem is that we're not finding very many. See, I don't know if that worked on him or what. It, 
doesn't seem like this quest is working really well. There we go. Maybe it's just a really long delay. I wonder if we probably have to stay like in the area. All right, we got a bunch that time. It almost seems like the most effective thing to do is simply to wait here and wait for respawns. It's not the most exciting thing to do. Yeah, see, some of them are not tricked. That guy was not fooled. folk around here prefer it over anything from that storm stout brewery all right it's Lily's day off and we are escorting her on a little adventure let's see we're heading over this way Uh, but we also have a quest here that I did not pick up. Well, hello, neighbor. All right. 
Fine. Use mud mugs vial to gather muddy water. That there vial. Okay. She's a bit leaky. I... Yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, not really sure what we're supposed to be doing here. Fill the flask with water and bring it back. Oh, I'd love to do that. I, I'm in the water. <laughs> not really sure what else we need to have going on here. Maybe we need these little pools. Okay. So we need to get it full, but then it's also going to leak. So then we have to fill it like super fast, and then we have to get our get our way back. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. It doesn't drain unless we move. I don't see... Okay, yeah, we gotta always have uh, our next destination in mind. I'm kind of hoping that once we fill it up all the way, it'll stop leaking. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, hi there. So long, then. Uh, we are supposed to bring Lily here, but also we have some side quests. Welcome. May the currents be strong. Greetings. Hello. Next one is on me. Speak up. Enough of that. This. There's a village up here, and a big fish statue, too. Here. 
Which river led you here? Oh, hello. May your days bring you joy. I hope Wait a minute. Now we need to go pick a flower for these guys? Seems kind of girly to me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Vile, contagion... No, yeah, we need to... Maybe we need to work down this What's side. Happening? Death and Decay damage has a 10% chance to apply a festering wound. That sounds good. Inflict disease upon your enemies. Spreading festering wounds equal to the amount currently active on your target. Yeah, it's another button to push. I really, I really can't have another button to push right now, honestly. Let's go with feasting strikes. Uh, we're supposed to to scoop some toad eggs. I just don't have any idea how or where we're supposed to be doing that. All I see are little aggressive turtles. Um, well, yeah, what are we looking for here? I'm sure it's something super obvious that I'm just overlooking. It must be obvious. There's no way it would be indecipherable. Uh, coincidentally, I'm making jam out of the gelatinous toad spawn. If you're heading to the pools, you'd be doing everyone a favor by liberating some of those toad eggs. I, I don't, I don't see any toad eggs. Maybe, maybe the other players here are grabbing them all. That's really all I can think of. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's the bubbles. Okay. Yeah, I never would have thought to click on the bubbles if I hadn't accidentally yeah. hovered over it. Travel safe. Slow down. White Tiger watch over you. Welcome. Jade Serpent guide you.
at this? There's a village up here, and a big fish statue, too. Hmm, you think the Jinyu built this place? All right, let's go ahead and take a second to pop our chests. All right, we uh, might have some upgrades here. that looks good and yeah guys i think i'm gonna take a break right here for today next time we will probably head down this way uh to do this side quest stuff and then we'll finish up with lily's day off thank you guys very much for joining me here i really do appreciate the support on this series i am having a really fun time just leveling up our death knight here in the remix hope you guys are enjoying the sights and sounds of pandaria let me know what you do think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.